Good morning, friends, followers, my subscribers, my fellow YouTube creators, and my army of Trevorites, and those that are cultists. Thank you very much for continuing to support my channel. It means a lot. But if you're watching this channel right now and you've not yet subscribed, why? It's free. And it's Sunday, which is effectively the day of the Lord's Day of Rest. Yes. Thank you for the emails. Uh, Gemma, Gemma's Journey Grace, thank you this morning for sending me the message. Yeah, Gemma, listen, um, I'll start off by saying this. My video gets watched by lovers and haters and wasted spaces and all that used things I used to say. And you know what? See, if someone's still watching you and they don't like you, they're still a fan in a way. They're just crazed, obsessed. And I'll point this out. I spend zero... Now, listen, please, please pay attention to all the dickheads out there. Please pay attention. And I mean this to you. You're not in my head during the day. I don't care. I know there's things being spread around YouTube. I don't give a shit about other YouTubers, what they get up to. I really don't care, honestly, honestly. Do you think I worry about, do you think I care if you've got 1,500 subscribers, 3,000 or 40,000 or 100,000? I don't give a shit. Get on with your day, make your content, entertain your subscribers, have fun. But don't be thinking that I worry about you. I don't. Honestly, I couldn't care. I, re I mean, <laughs> I seen a message uh, posted on Gemma Journey Grace's um, videos. Uh, and, and one of the messages, and I will mention her, was from Penny Bunny. Saying that I bully people. Who? Who do I bully? Who? Who? Stop listening to what fat middle-aged men are saying to you. Stop making up shit. Get on with your lives. Listen, why would I waste my energy sending messages? I know where all these YouTubers live. I could just drive and slap them, honestly. But I don't want to. I couldn't be bothered. Could it just? I'd rather sit and watch a snail have a shit on a curbstone than sometimes talk to other people. Honestly, that. And let's just move on. I don't care. Get on with your lives. Have fun. Stop sending me messages about shit. I don't mean Gemma, I mean other people. He said, she said, I don't care. Let them say what they want. If they're saying things about me every single day, it means they're obsessed. I don't say anything about any of them. I don't really give a shit, honestly. Three grown men out there. Three grown men. They all know where I live. Pop down. But you won't. Hope you're liking the photographs I'm putting up about me being a soldier. Haven't seen any of yous. Just saying, just saying. Anyway... It is Sunday, might be the Lord's Day rest. I don't need all this nonsense. Uh, anyway, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Uh, what else? Well, there's a poll, and I don't mean someone from Poland. I mean a poll, as in, do you agree, yes or no type poll. Yeah, P-O-L-L. -L, has now been produced, saying that a whopping, whopping 93% of 18 to 24-year-olds couldn't be bothered to turn up for a job interview. I'd like to know who did this poll. Was this poll done in an area filled with asylum seekers? Was it done in an area of a council estate? Because a council estate, I think you'll find that a lot of kids that are offered job opportunities would turn up for an interview. So these polls, I think, are, are done just to uh, just to get journalists paid for column space, I think, because 93% of 18 to 24 year olds, that is massively high, and I think it's a lie. Maybe the poll was done in some, somewhere in London, because if it was done in Edinburgh or Belfast or Liverpool or Manchester or Birmingham, you'd find that that, that poll would not be the same percentage as what the kids would do up there. Kids would like to have a job. So there we go. Probably done by a Labour councillor. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay? What else is happening? Well, I woke up this morning to find out that the West, it's weird, isn't it, how they think the West is just US and UK? The West, the UK and the US. So basically, um, the Biden administration has bombed uh, 18 targets inside Yemen. Yeah. But because the UK jumps at what America says, which we do, we do. It's like the big brother. Yeah, yeah, okay. And it... America is our big brother being run by, well, by someone that's nearly dead, actually, by a retarded president. But it's um, it's strange that um, we always jump to do what they say. Yes, it's not good that 
Cargo ships and oil tankers are being, are being attacked off the coast of Yemen and around Somalia. But that's pirates. To go and bomb 18 targets in another country, that's another step. All that's going to do is this. All that will do is this. It will increase the amount of people that want to be pirates. It'll increase the amount of people that want to go and bomb the West. That's all it will do. No one today knows how to negotiate. They all just want to bomb, shoot and kill. No one knows how to negotiate, sit down and negotiate. It's a bit like YouTubers. YouTubers don't know how to talk to each other. They send sly emails around, which is a bit pathetic, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's just as well I'm a... Just as well I'm a thick-skinned war veteran that's done that, been there, done that, got the t-shirt and now drinks the whiskey. So there we go. What a shame. The world is falling apart. And rather than people stand up and be counted, they sit back and tweet or post. It's a new, it's a new way of sort of being a coward, isn't it? The weakest people in society are the biggest bullies on social media. You'll find that out. Not. What else is happening? Lloyds Bank. Check this here, right, people? Lloyds Bank staff got annoyed at being called in by their boss, and they've hit back. They have reduced his salary by £90,000 a year. Yes, he's had a salary decrease of £90,000 a year because of it. Now, you're thinking that's a bit wrong. So they've taken £90,000 off his salary, which means he now only gets paid £3.7 million a year. That 90 k He's probably going to bitch about that, isn't it? I had plans for that 90k. That would have been a new liner for the swimming pool, but can't do it now. Right, now here's one. This is a story this morning which hit me a little bit, and I, I sat and I hemmed in hard about it. Should I mention it? Should I? It's wrong. Of course it's wrong. Right. I, I've never heard of this before. Now, we all know who Bernie Ecclestone is. He was the former boss of Formula One. Of course he was. I believe he sold it billionaire, multi-billionaire. He was in the paper last year and year before for tax avoidance and all these other schemes. Of course, you don't become a billionaire unless you clearly have a great financial advisor who gives you advice on how to avoid finances. So his daughter, Petra, now I know we have Tamara, but Petra Eccleston thought that she would dye her dog purple to match her outfits. Yes, yes. And she posted photographs of it online. Now, if you look at the thumbnail, you will see Petra in the middle of my thumbnail and the dog on the right. The dog lying on the sofa. Now, the fact that you think you can dye your dog and use, use the dog as an accessory to your jewellery and your outfits means that you're not treating that dog correctly. It means that you don't value that dog at all. And it's to me, it's animal abuse. So why hasn't she been fined and arrested? I know she's rich. And she sh surely animal rights should get involved. Where's all the animal rights now? Yeah? Oh, they're all, they're all jumping about going, oh, there's too many dogs in Helmin and Sagan and Kajaki. We need to bring them home. Don't really see them speaking out now about a billionaire daughter who's dying her dog and using it as an accessory and posting it all over social media. Absolutely shocking. So I'm sure over the next couple of days, you'll see quite a few people talk about this on YouTube. Uh, I hope they talk about it because it needs to stop. You cannot treat animals like that. Pathetic way to treat animals, isn't it? But I'm sure she'll get off of it. If you've got a smart lawyer, the wording gets you off things, doesn't it? Quite sad, but there we go. Now, I know I'm going to get a bit of things in the, in, the, uh, in the comments saying, Trevor, why did you say that about Biden? Because in my own belief and my personal opinions, I believe he is. Uh, the same way I believe that Rishi Sunak, the UK Prime Minister, um, is just a front man, isn't he? He's just a front man for his uh, corporation in India, which is getting more and more claws into the UK. And... I do not believe that there's many politicians today that actually want to achieve what they set out to achieve because if they achieve it, then they become unemployed. Um, Johnny Mercer did state that he was going to end veterans homelessness by the end of 2023. Now, I do get emails about that. And the truth is, um, I do keep an eye on what's going on. And he is making leaps and bounds. The unfortunate thing about Johnny Mercer is that the 
for every wall he knocks down, other MPs build too. So he is trying. And um, yes, I'm not his best fan. He's not my best fan either. Uh, I'm not his best fan. But you have to give people credit where credit's due when they're trying to achieve things and do it for the benefit of others. So I'm sure he'll get there eventually. He just needs more people. We need more Johnny Mercers and less Rishi Sunaks, if that makes sense. It's a shame. Well, listen, people, I'm going to shoot on. We are going to go out and do something today. Um, my son this morning was in the uh, ice loomy bath. Don't know how long for. He did it yesterday. He's done it this morning. It helps the recovery of muscles. It also helps to calm the mind. Yeah. But it takes, it takes nerve. It takes nerve and bravery to get in something really, really cold and to stay there and submerge yourself. Anyway, listen, have a wonderful day. And um, I just hope my ex-wife lets me use it because it's not mine. <laughs> anyway, have a wonderful day, people. Stay safe. Listen, do not read not Well, you can. You can read what you want. But if there's things being put out there about different people, um, ask the individual. He or she will tell you exactly. Uh, but you can't accuse someone. You can't accuse someone of bullying if you can see that they're not bullying. It's just other people's words. Yet they're bullying, they're bullying. I'm posting nothing online about different people. I don't care. Um, just, just get on with your lives and have fun. Take care.